Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Tuesday in the second week of Advent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. <coughs> Lord, open my lips, and my, and my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, come let us worship, worship the Lord, the King, King who is to come. come. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, come let, let us worship the Lord, Lord the King, King who is to come. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, come let us worship the Lord, the, the King who is to come. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, come, come let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. come. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, come let us worship, worship the Lord, the King who is to come. come. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, come let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, come let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have you rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O send forth your light and your truth. Let this be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the heart, O God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, in the noontime of life, I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld, I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion, he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dog. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction. When you cast behind your back, all my sins. For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that raises you. Neither do those who go down into the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks, as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. 
we shall sing to the string instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. To you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you, our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you we pay our vows, you who hear our prayer. To you all flesh will come with its burden of sin, too heavy for us our offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house, of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you fill with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water. You fill it with riches. Your river in heaven brims over to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth. You drench its furrows. You level it, soften it with showers. You bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flow in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy. The meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, whom you have shown forth your salvation to all the ends of the earth, grant, we pray, that we may look forward in joy to the glorious nativity of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the desert prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in. Every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain. The rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, Cry out. I answer, What shall I cry out? All flesh is grass. The grass withers, the flower wilts. When the breath of the Lord blows upon it, so then, the people is the grass. Though the grass withers and the flower wilts, the word of our God stands forever. Go up into a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward before him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the youths with care. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord our God comes with power. The Lord our God comes with power. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. 
Sing to the Lord, bless His name. Announce His salvation day after day. The Lord our God comes with power. Tell His glory among the nations, among all peoples His wondrous deeds. Say among the nations, the Lord is King. He governs the people with equity. The Lord our God comes with power. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea in what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then let all the trees of the forest rejoice. The Lord our God comes with power. They shall exult before the Lord, for He comes. For He comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with His constancy. The Lord our God comes with power. Please stand. Alleluia. Of the Lord is near. Behold, He comes to save us. Alleluia. with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to Matthew glory to you O Lord Jesus said to his disciples what is your opinion if a man has a hundred sheep and one of them goes astray will he not leave the 99 in the hills and go in search of the stray and if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the 99 that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. May dear friends, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Please be seated. It is clearly said in today's gospel that no matter what, Jesus would always come to search for us. We might be wondering, why does he need to do that? Well, precisely because he knows fully well our human tendency. And that is sometimes the tendency to get lost. Or most of the time, the tendency to turn away from him. And so, with today's gospel that we read, it is telling us that no matter what, God would not give up on us, despite those tendencies of getting lost or turning away from Him. God would not give up on us, but He would always come to search for us. Matthew made use of the images of nine, the numbers 99 and 1. Perhaps for men, 99 is more appealing. Kahit sino eh. Sige nga kung papipiliin kayo ng 99 versus 1, what would you choose? It is more appealing to choose 99. But today's gospel from Matthew is telling us something else. Maybe for men, 99 is more appealing. But St. Matthew in today's gospel is telling us in the eyes of Jesus, one is more appealing for him. Mas mahalaga sa kanya ang isang nawawala. You will see the difference, no? You will see the difference. At saan nga ba naiiba? Naiiba because of the intention. The intention makes the difference at all. 
because Jesus would come to save. And the difference is that most of the time, men would come to gain. Sabi ko nga po kung papipiliin tayo sa 99 verses 1, sa tao hahanapin niya ang pipiliin niya ang 99. Sayang din to. It's all about gaining. But for Christ, through this gospel, it's not about gaining. It's about saving. Mas pipiliin niyang hanapin o iligtas ang isang nawawala. And this is the good reminder for all of us in today's gospel. God would always come to search for us. Kasi alam niya, madalas ang tao nawawala. Madalas ang tao nagtatago. Kung hindi man nagtatago, kusang lumalayo. Ang gagawin ng Diyos, hahanap-hanapin ka niya, itatagpo ka niya, ibabalik ka niya sa Diyos. Kaya mag-ingat tayo. Alam ko, kahit sa buhay natin, alam natin to. Kapag napapansin ng Diyos na bigla na tayong lumalayo, Kapag nakikita ng Diyos na tayo nagtatago, umiiwas, nako, magugulat tayo dyan. Bigla na lang tayong kilkilitiin ng Diyos. Ewan ko lang kung naranasan nyo yan. Yung tipong, oh, bakit nangyari ito sa akin? Nako, parang may pinapaalala sa akin ng Diyos. Yung mga taong hindi nagsisimba, nako, darating ang panahon, kakalabitin ka ng Diyos dyan. Yung mga hindi nagdadasal, yung tipong hindi na naniniwala sa Diyos, yung tipong kaya ko, kaya ko na ito, nako. Again, as I have said, Jesus, God would not give up on us. He would always come to search for us. He would always come to let us feel that He's around. Ipaparamdam niya sa iyo na tao lang tayo. Again, the intention is to save. It's not to gain. Another reminder for all of us, what is our intention in joining? What is our conviction when we come? Ano ang intention ng ating pakikiisa? Pakikisama? Is it about saving or simply to gain? Ano ba ang nangingibabaw? Sa tuwing tayo nagsisimba, tayo pumupunta sa simbahan, ano ba ang nangingibabaw sa intensyon natin? Is it about gaining? Obtaining 99? Or saving? Saving ourselves? Or saving someone else? Ano ba ang intensyon mo sa pakikisalamuha mo sa kapwa? Is it about saving him? Or helping? Or baka naman, nakikisama ka nga, makikimarites lang. What is your intention of joining in the community? What is your as intention to be with other people? Is it about helping? Or baka naman, nandun ka lang upang tignan ang mali ng iba? That is not the way of the Lord. If your intention, the prevailing intention is to gain, if the prevailing intention is about the 99, then my dear friends, the gospel today is telling us, that is not the way of the Lord. Nako, mag-ingat tayo sa ganyan. Paraan yan ng demonyo. For Christ is about helping. It's about Oh, it's about being merciful. It's about saving. And I just hope if we would come to join or to help someone or to be with someone, with the community, following the gospel today, we come to save. We all stand.
The Lord is the shepherd who knows each one of us by name. Let us offer our prayers to Christ, trusting in His personal love for us. And for every petition, we shall say, Divine Shepherd, hear us. Divine Shepherd, hear us. That the Church may be a living sign of true concern and dedicated care for those who are rejected by our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, hear us. That those who wandered away from the paths of righteousness hear the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, calling them home. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, hear us. That young people may hear the voice of our Lord, calling them to conversion and to a life of service. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Shepherd, hear us. That all those who are suffering or sick may realize that they are loved by God through the care and attention we give them. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, hear us. us. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, hear us. us. For the Bishops of the Philippines, and for our brothers and ministry at St. Thomas Aquinas and St. And Saint Raymond Peñafort. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, hear us. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine, Divine Shepherd, Shepherd hear, hear us. That the dead may pass through the gate of the sheepfold, and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Divine Shepherd, Shepherd, hear us. us. Most gentle Father, you guide us along the right path. Hear our prayers and bless each one of us in the way you know best. May we follow wherever you lead us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the divine work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, may dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may Lord, the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the for praise, praise and, and glory of his name, for our good and, and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, with the humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It It is right right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. 
and so with angels and archangels, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again, we proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Matthew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. 
our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Zion. I will come and make my dwelling in you, says the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his, his people and set, set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. 
through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, who set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Zion. I will come and make my dwelling in you, says the Lord. Let us pray. Replenish with the food of spiritual nourishment. We humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of the earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawang, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawang, may these rosaries, images, and candles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.